एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम सो वेलकम बैक टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न वॉट इज अबाउट अबाउट डबल इंटीग्रल वॉट इज डबल इंटीग्रल हाउ डू वी राइट डबल इंटीग्रल हाउ डू वी इंटीग्रेट अ फंक्शन यूजिंग डबल इंटीग्रेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द फ्यूबिनीज थियरम द वीकर फॉर्म ऑफ फ्यूबिनीज थियरम वॉज डिस्कस्ड बिकॉज इट इज इट इज फॉर द रेक्टेंगुलर रीजन so and now in the continuation of this we will cover the part when the region of integration is uh, forming a non rectangular boundary so welcome back to eschand academy so for uh, uh, for the detailed syllabus covering you can refer to this book from eschand publishing and if you don't have the hard copy you can uh, click on the link in the which is given in the description box so we will start with multiple integral in this lines we will first start with double integral when we have this non rectangular region so in non rectangular region the limit of both the variables will not be constant in this one the limit of one variable will be depending on another variable and the uh, the variable on which it will be, the limit of the first variable will be depending that will take the constant limit so both will not be constant and both will not be variable so this will be uh, that's how we will uh, take this non rectangular region uh, we will find out the region of integration for this non rectangular region so for this first we will go through the a uh, stronger form of fubini's theorem so fubini's theorem says that so as i said that this is the stronger form of fubini's theorem stronger form so it says that if fxy is a continuous function is a continuous function on a region r where r is of course a non rectangular region then let us say that the boundaries are the the limits for x are a and b and limits for y are in the form of g1 and g2x so in this one limit for x are constant and limit for y are in form of another variable similarly it is not necessary that x will take the constant limit and y will take the limits in terms of r uh, x vice versa is also possible so let us say that this is the first type that this is the first type that when x is taking a constant limit and y limits for y are depending on x uh, the value the functions for x so in this one we say that so first we will integrate th since these are the limits for y so therefore we will integrate this fxy with respect to y first by substituting the limits for y as g1x and g2x so g1x is the lower limit and g2x is the upper limit so this function needs to be integrated with respect to y first and the resultant will be integrated with respect to x and where the the limits for x are constant so a to b so resultant is going to be a constant because resultant of the integration of this fxy after integrating with respect to y it is going to remain in a function as a function of x only and when the resultant will be integrated with respect to x and when the sub limit will be substituted as constant so resultant is going to be constant so this is the first form when the limits for x was constant and limits for y were in terms of x now when it takes the second form that is the limit for y let us say they are constant from c to d and limits for x are in form of functions that is h1x and h2y h1y and h2y 
So uh, where H1Y and H2Y, they are uh, continuous over this C and D. So in that case, this double integration of FXY, we will be integrating with respect to X first by substituting the limits for X as H1Y and H2Y. So this will be integrating with respect to X first and the resultant we are going to integrate with respect to Y which will be uh, for which the limits will be C to D and that's how it will be written. So Fibini's theorem allows us to integrate a function where non-rectangular region of integration is there. So we will take one question for this. So this is example number two, where this will be, we will integrate with respect uh, for a non-rectangular region. So let us take the same question. So compute i is as xy square dx dy, where over this region of integration r, where region of integration is, let us say that, let us say x is from zero to one and y is from zero to x. Or, or x by 2. Okay, so first of all, we need to sketch the region of integration. So sketching of region of integration is very, very important and it plays a vital role in uh, the uh, uh, integration part. So we will, so in this regard, we will sketch this curve first because they are the curves. So this is y equals to 0 line. So y equals to 0 line. And this is y equals to x by 2. So y equals to x by 2 will move something like this. So this is the line y equal to x by 2. So this, this portion is saying that y is moving from 0 to x by 2. So this is the portion, this limit of y is covering. When the, now, when we come to the limit for x, which is from 0 to 1, then if this is the point for x equal to 0 to 1, then this becomes the region of integration. So this portion has been cut out out of this region. So this becomes this red shaded region becomes our region of integration over which this function needs to be integrated. This function needs to be integrated. So if we'll compute this integration, so x uh, this is, since as according to the Fubini's theorem, we need to integrate with respect to y first. So we will substitute the limit for y as 0 to x by 2. And then the limits for x, which is 0 to 1, and it is xy square dx dy. So we will apply the rules for, uh, we will apply the rules for integration. We will apply the rules for integration for integrating this function with respect to x first. Now here one important thing, please do not get confused for this x and this x. So these are the limits for x and whenever we have the limits in terms of x, we should understand that they are the limits for y. So generally students get uh, confused in this one and they do integrate with respect to x and then they substitute the limit for x. No. Whenever we are given this in function as function of x, then we should understand that they are the limits for y. So we need to integrate with respect to y first. So according to the standard notation, we need to rewrite this integration 0 to x by 2. It is xy square dy dx because this order shows the order in which the function needs to be integrated since these are the limits for y so we need to integrate with respect to y first so okay so we will apply the rules on this uh, function x y square so x will be treated as constant and y square will be integrated so it is y cube by 3 and this is 0 to x by 2 and we are left with single integration now which is 0 to 1 x y cube divided by 3 limits are from 0 to x by 2 for y and dx shows that uh, the resultant needs to be integrated with respect to x so we'll substitute the limits so after substituting the limits, it becomes x cube. Let us take this 3 out. So it becomes x cube by 2 cube, that is 8. And uh, lower limit is 0, so we are not bothered about that. So that's how, and you can see now that 
0 to 1 and if I take this 24 out I'm left with x raised to the power 4 dx. So that was I was talking about that after integration uh, with respect to y we should not be left with any y. So this r, r is uh, incomplete integral is free of y. So it has convert it has uh, converted to a single integration. So that is why it is called in iterated integration also. Now we will apply the same rules of integration over this integration over this integral. So it is x5 divided by 5 and these are the limits for x so 0 to 1 so it will be 1 over 24 into 5 24 into 5 that's it so this will be the integration for this uh, uh, integral of the function x y square when it is integrated upon the boundary upon this region of integration now if we integrate the same function over a different region of integration then solution will be different because it will be the uh, because that's what I said in the starting that region of integration is going to play a vital role in the integrand uh, and in the resultant of the integration. So now we will take the same function and we will change this region of integration. In this one we have taken that y was a function of x and in next we will take that x is will be a function of y and y will be taking as a constant one. So let us take the next example. So this is example 3. So we will compute this integration. As I said that we are going to take same function because I need to show you that the result may vary when region of integration is changed. So now let us say that R is the region bounded by Y when Y is between 0 and 2 and let us say that X is between 0 and 2Y. Okay, so the first thing which we need to do is the, the sketch of the region of integration. So first we will draw the, uh, first we will sketch the region of integration. So this is x equal to 0 line. So this is x equal to 0 line. x equal to 2y. So it will be something like this. So this is x equal to 2y. So this becomes the region of integration because x is moving from this point to this line. Right, And then we are uh, saying that y is moving from 0 to 2. So if, if this is the point as y equal to 2, so this becomes the region of integration. So now we are having the same integral, but as soon as we change the boundary, so region of integration gets changed and we will see that we are going to get a different result. So we will integrate this over this region of integration according to the Fubini's stronger form 2. So i is from 0 to 2y, 0 to 2xy square and this time since these are the limits for x, so we need to integrate with respect to x first. So that is why we will, according to the standard notation, it will be written as dx dy. So we need to integrate with respect to x first. So it is 0 to 2. So y, is, y will be treated as constant and it becomes x square by 2 and it is 0 to 2y dy. So if we simplify this, so it becomes y square and 1 by 2 can be taken out and it is 2y whole square dy. And you can see that our integrand is free of x now and we are left with a single integration that 2 in y for which and the limits for y are constant. So ultimately we are going to get a constant value. So we will so this becomes 2 of 0 to 2 y raised to the power 5 dy. So it is 2 and upon integration of this it becomes y 6 y raised to the power 6 divided by 6 0 to 2 and you can substitute the limits for this one. So it is 2 by 6 into 2 raised to the power 6. You can simplify this and you can see that it becomes 3. So 2 raised to the power 6 by 3 is the answer for this region or for this integration. So you have seen that we had the same function that is xy square which needs to be integrated with respect to x and y but as soon as we have changed the region of integration the entire thing gets changed. So that is why I said that region of integration is going to play a vital role in the final answer.
So in the second part, we have uh, learned about the Fubini's theorem, a stronger form of Fubini's theorem, which is applicable for the non-rectangular region because in the real life problem, we will come across with the non-rectangular region only. So we have seen that uh, whenever we are integrating of the same, even the same function if we integrate over a different region of integration, we are going to get a different answer. So, and the most important thing which we must remember is that if it is the, the limits are given in terms of as a function of x, then they will be the limits for y. And if the limits are given in terms of y, they will be the limits for x. And with respect to the uh, variable for which the limits are given in form of another variable with respect to that variable we need to integrate first. The outer integration has to have constant limits. So whenever we are having this such kind of region where non-rectangular uh, region of integration is there and limit of one, one variable is given in form of an uh, another variable, then that variable needs to be integrated first. Uh, then uh, we are more comfortable now with the uh, in dealing of non-rectangular region. So we will proceed further in next lecture. So for, uh, the, uh, for the detailed syllabus covering, you can refer to this book from S. Chand Publishing. And if you don't have the hard copy, you can uh, click on the link in the which is given in the description box. So uh, if you have liked the video, if you have liked the way uh, the concept has been told, please like, share and subscribe the video. Share it with your friends. Press the bell icon so that you would, uh, you would get a notification as and when next part of this video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.